Hello, I'm Olivier Aubert. I'm from Nantes University. I'm working with, uh, in the Duke team as a visiting assistant professor and also as a consultant. And here, yeah, uh, and in computer science, the digital side. And here, Jasper, humanities side, who is working as a researcher in Freie University of Berlin. And we're trying to do this presentation, 10 minutes, as an interdisciplinary dialogue. So, Jasper, what's the context of our research? So, uh, specifically, we will talk about the ADA project um, and uh, interdisciplinary collaborative practices between um, films, studies, and computational science. So, we had a corpus analysis of audiovisual rhetorics on the financial crisis um, that was based on a theoretically um, informed methodology of film analysis with computational video analysis and semantic web annotations. And this required the groundwork for a collaborative annotation process, uh, which comprised um, a structured um, vocabulary for film analysis that resulted in a machine-readable uh, um, OWL um, film ontology. And this then required the need for an annotation software. And so it happens that I'm the author of uh, Advin Software, which is a software for movie annotation and which started in feature movie annotations, uh, even if it's no use for other aspects, but this was a perfect fit. And during the project, we had to make some adaptations. It, it, it fit already some of the needs of the, uh, some of the requirements of the users, but we had to improved semantic web support for, for ontologies and control vocabulary uh, entry. We added some feature extraction per plugins in collaboration with HP at Potsdam researchers. And we made a number of UI optimization and extensions. And something that may be a detail to you but was important is it, it was also the opportunity for me to do big maintenance on the project because uh, for instance, for those technically savvy, porting from Python through to Python 3 or from Python, uh, from GTK 3 to GTK 4. And in an earlier publication, we talked about the co-building of a digital humanities and reflected on the iterative um, development of a visualization uh, framework that you see here um, as instrumental genesis. So a bit of detail about instrumental genesis, which I think is an important concept for the digital humanities. It's, it's a concept founded by Pierre Bardel, who, is a, who was, he died two years ago, was a philosopher, a psycholo psychologist, and an ergonomic researcher. Uh, and a tool is, uh, it's a general tool. It's not just in uh, computer science, but it applies very well to computer science. A tool becomes an instrument from the time you integrate it in a practice. So you've got a subject, you research the researcher, an object of research like movies, and a tool like Advin, which, uh, so, uh, which is generic, which is only a tool, but once it, it becomes integrated into the practice, it becomes an, obj an instrument. And I won't go into details about this instrument. Yeah, if people are interested, I can go further, but yeah, we're short on time. So my pledge is to, to bring interdisciplinary intr instrumental genesis by having both the digital people considering the object of research of the, of the, of the humanities and the reverse, humanities people considering the object of research of uh, digital people. So we wanted to highlight GitHub not just as uh, part of this instrumental genesis, um, but also, of course, for um, publication and also for the collaborative um, annotation process um, that draw on film um, studies annotators experts, uh, which highlight then the adaption efforts um, when you have interdisciplinary um, research from with a different familiarity with different tools and platforms, uh, which is then also a question of time. And so we now look, look uh, we now would like to, to look at the timeline uh, to look back on the process of the, our collaboration process. So this is the timeline. This is before the funding period, before the start of the project. What did we have? Uh, the pointer is here, yeah. Uh, so I provided, the Advin software was pre-existing, it's a 20-year-old project, and I had earlier projects and collaborations with, uh, which allowed to develop its features and, uh, and so on. And there's also, in the technological context, something that's important to, to feature is the, 
the technological context of libraries, uh, operating systems, and platforms that are constantly changing and updated. And on the humanities? So we have the Emacs routine, which was um, methods um, with segmenting. That was uh, built in earlier project of the FUB Film Studies Research Group um, that the ADA project that could uh, draw on and adapt uh, when it started in 2016. Okay, now I'm going from this one, I'm adding things. So the project starts in 2016, it's the big rectangle, the, the yellow rectangle that we see here. What did we have to do? What did, did we have to do? So it brought us the opportunity to do, uh, for, it brought me the opportunity to do development on the admin software, uh, which was either specific for the project or general for the global community because there were genetic features that benefited everyone. And above you see the different task that hu humanities side was involved in. So, of course, the adaptation of the methods, the film analytical methods, but also in the process of instrumental uh, genesis, uh, the usage um, part of the sketching, but then in the iterative process, the testing um, of the software tools. But, of course, as I mentioned earlier, also setting up an annotation routine of um, different annotators. Um, so we had different practices and different processes of um, creating the ADA film anthology, deciding, meeting on, 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 on the vocab vocabulary uh, with uh, Hanning, Henning Akt-Rickauer and Joscha Jäger. We developed then an annotation explorer so, um, uh, where you could query and have a triple store uh, and query and um, display all the annotations. Um, and uh, our project ended uh, in 2021 um, because of COVID we got an extension and um, uh, also uh, the uh, conference with which was planned wasn't going on. So we had more time actually also to allocate to documentation, which included, uh, of course, not also the annotation data, but also um, um, the, the film ontology um, and um, also the documentation on practices of our annotation routine. Um, so this uh, is then um, the other toolkit, um, not just as a specific tool, but also the documentations of these processes um, of annotating um, film analytical vocabulary with Adveen um, and um, this machine readable annotations. So um, this is then also going um, beyond um, the project uh, as we are right now also preparing data paper. Um, so all these ex um, aspects that are uh, part of the project but also beyond the project and have to be considered. Yeah, on the admin side, I also have other projects and collaborations, and I'm open to new projects and collaborations, so if you want to, to talk about it, no problem. I will be very pleased. And what, at the end of this project, so it's ended two years ago, what do we have to offer to the community? Uh, we have to offer uh, digital objects that we will discuss, and also uh, some questions. Like, for, for admin, the, yeah, the admin, admin stays here with its improvements from the project, and uh, the, the maintenance that needs to be done to always adapt to the, to the underlying uh, context, technological context. Um, yes, and on the side uh, of uh, the humanities, we have, of course, the question, or the, we have the methods, um, but also, of course, the questions um, of new projects, and not only in research, so how to work also with a film anthology and other projects, but also how you can work with, um, uh, with these different tools, instruments in, in, in teaching. Uh, which uh, require also their needs for adaptation and ongoing process. Um, so there's one project at FUB um, on, on climate change, which, uh, which is working on the, uh, with the film ontology, um, but of course there, um, uh, to, um, yeah, to, to have an uh, ongoing process, um, uh, um, the question of new collaborations uh, rises. And, um, uh, yeah, and uh, the highlight to, of course, the, the different levels of, of outputs uh, that are already mentioned, but also, um, of course, the opportunity that the ADA project uh, gave to Adveen um, 
that it could be maintained, um, which is a question um, of uh, infrastructure. So beside the question of time, uh, you could also highlight the question of different communities of practice. Uh, so um, the question of the larger co DH community, but also the question of different communities of practice and questions of uh, in infrastructure. Um, so. Mm, yeah, we, we don't go into details of the different products, but you find all the links if you're interested um, to look into it and highlight the different questions of our process. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you.